welcome to the micro engineering course now we continue here the discussion on the applications of micro engineering or micro communication there now microwaves are used in most of the applications we'll proceed here one by one so what are the applications of the micro communication system for a your micro there as we rightly mentioned earlier that it has a frequency range from 0.2 to 300 gigahertz there so now this frequency range is higher so that's why this micro can be used as a carrier in most of the system so that's why we can say that applications of a micro in a communication system so that's why we start here to say that first application that is a microwave communication system microwave communication system that is about the applications of a microwave why it is used in a communication system because if you see that the microwave provides a large bandwidth or higher bandwidth so that's why a micro system is to be used to carry a voice or that can be used to carry a digital data or that can be used to carry a television data or a television signal or any traffic so that is to be used as a carrier that micro is used as a carrier for your voice data for a digital data or a television data so that is nothing but what a communication system depending upon this microwave carrier in general if we say that a communication system or we say a microwave communication system that can be defined in a two categories one is about a ground system and another is about a radio link so if you see the ground system that we say that a communication is takes place a long distance communication through the micro system and that is on the ground system okay so means we can say that a signal transmitted on a wave guide instead of a cable so that is a a ground system communication means here we are using a wave guide as a, a transmission line and then that wave guide is nothing but a low loss cable or a low loss line that is to be used for transmitting the signal there now then uh, regarding that uh, the traffic and whatever the uh, power transmitted through this guide is depending upon that what line we are going to be prefer so means we can say that a micro communication system that is to be defined in two categories one is about we say it is about a radio link and another is about your ground system okay we can say that our communication takes place using the ground system and another we can say that a communication it takes place to the radio link this radio link means what it will propagate the signal in a space okay so this propagation takes place so now that propagation takes place from the ground to the satellite so means we can say that this radio link is to be used in a direct broadcast satellite television system okay so we can say that in general directly we say that is about a, a satellite applications or a satellite communication this is to be used here or we say here that is to be used in a mobile communication or we can say that is about a cellular communication so radio link that is again to be used for the global positioning system to identify what will be the position of that particular device so that is about the applications of your micro in a micro communication system but a micro communication system is divided in a two categories one is about radio link that is wave propagating wave propagating in a space another is about a ground wave system in which we have a line low loss line that is to be used 
for the communication there that is about the application next application of a micro system that is used in a radar okay so that is a radar is nothing but a system that is used to locate the object or we need to find what will be the speed of that given object generally this micro is used for detecting the object at what speed it is moving or identification of object means that is nothing but a use for the navigation or a ranging okay that is nothing but we can say that a radar is used for a ranging radar ranging okay likewise so means we can say that it is to be used in a radar system or that is to be used again for the counter measure means we need to find out the object and then we need to target that particular object by using the missile systems and all likewise so that is about a, a counter measure thing means here that object wherever it is in a space that is to be obtained means locating that object and what will be the place of that particular object there. so that is generally that radar system is used in a military application and in a military it is to be used in the air or in a marine to uh, find out that position of that missile or control that missile or a artillery is there again that in that is can be that can be used to guide the missile there miss missile guidance it is to be used for the detection and tracking of aircraft missiles and spacecraft there again it can be used for the weapon system okay so means we generally say that it is to be used a radar generally we take talk about that it is to be used in a military application or we can say that is about to identify that position of that aircraft okay tracking of aircraft and all that is about a basic basic applications of radar in a military and another we say that applications of in terms of what radar is to be used in a, a civilian society okay you can say that in a society so in that case a civilian system sorry in a civilian applications that radar can be used so where that radar can be used in a civilian application so just if you know that right now what about that a surveillance technique or a surveillance system is used in a airport so in which they have used a, a radar there that is for the surveillance there then again it is to be used for the weather detection okay so that is to be used for the weather detection or it is to be used for the mapping okay so likewise you can say that that is uh, that can be used that whatever the mapping means what where the in that particular region where is the rain or all that is to be used or that can be useful for the remote sensing app applications or remote sensing applications for the natural resources okay so that is to be used here or that can be used radar can be used in a, a astronomy there. so these are about the applications of the radar system that is in a military as well as in a, a civilian applications of a radar there, civilian application and uh, if you talk about that a radar then a counter measures a counter measures means what we need to find out that whatever the objects present there and we need to find out that particular target or disturb the another radar system okay so that is what we need to provide a fake signal okay to counter that someone is not able to recognize us okay likewise so that is about that is about a, a counter measure so that that is to be used to confuse our whatever the radar system okay so that is in mostly it is in a military application that counter measures are used next one we say that applications here radiometry or we can say that 
रेडियो एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल रिसर्च रेडियो एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल रिसर्च ओके सो दैट इज अबाउट द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ रेड माइक्रोवेव देर सो मीन्स द रेडियोमेट्री मीन्स वॉट मीन्स जनरली वी नीड टू सी दैट वट एवर द ऑब्जेक्ट इन ए गिवन पर्टिकुलर स्पेस देयर to map this given object what will be the size of the object in that case we need to transmit the microwave signal so in that case which of the objects we have that object may be reflect or signal means then reflection is to be measured and according to that we need to find out what will be the size of that given object means it's just like a use as a radiometer means radiate the signal radiation takes place that is radiation emits from this device and then it will reach to the object then object will reflect that radiation means it will emit that microwave signal and then according to that we can find out what will be the size of the given particular object we generally this a function is as a, a radiometer there. so it is just like used for the measuring the size of the object or what we can say that another way we can find out that planetary mapping so which over the planet is there that is about planetary mapping or we can say that a solar emission mapping or we can say that what will be the condition of that uh, soil okay or a soil moisture or a rain okay likewise or a flood mapping so likewise that is to be used so mostly if you see that there are the applications of a microwave in a radiometry that applications if you consider that is categorized in a radio astronomer or that will be categorized in a environmental so according to the radio astronomer that is to be used to map the object or that is to be planetary mapping or a solar emission mapping or we can say that a mapping of a objects there in a space or measurement of a cosmological background radiation so likewise that is about the object so that is about the applications of the radiometry and in the case of environmental one so we can say that environment that is about a remote sensing remote sensing application to understand that what will be the soil content there okay so soil moisture so means that microwave can be used for the measurement of soil moisture again we can say that a flood mapping that is to be used for a flood mapping or we can say that a snow cover mapping or a ice cover mapping or we can say that a that is to be used in a ocean surface to measure the what will be the wind speed there so that is about the applications in terms of a yes, uh, what we can say that is the environmental one but if you consider that the applications in terms of a military one so in that case that is to be useful for the a target detection and a recognition just like we say a radar there earlier okay just like a radiometry is nothing but we emit some radiation and then find out the given object or see that particular object that is nothing but a in a military operation operation so that radiometry is to be used in a military operation to detect the object or target the given particular object or recognizing the object there again radiometry is nothing but to use for the surveillance okay a surveillance system or that can be used for the a mapping there so there are the lot of applications of a micro in a radiometry or we can say that a radio astronomical research there so generally we can say that radio astronomical research means we propagate means from the ground transmitting the micro signal to the space but that whatever the signal we are transmitting micro signal that is to be transmitting from the ground to the space that signal is to be transmitted through the ionospheric layer okay means what happen here if supposed to be signal will not be transmitted through the ionosphere layer so then there will be reflection from the ionosphere or refraction so we need to choose a micro frequency that is to be used or that is to be transmitted to through the ionosphere means 
a transparent propagating microwave signal okay so that is to be used for the radio astronomical signal so that is the applications of a microwave in a radio astronomy or a radio metry there another application that is we say that a industrial one now if you see that the industrial applications so generally a micro signals are used or microwaves are used in a heating okay means we can say nowadays a micro heating so micro heating is to be used in a micro oven to heat the food okay so that is about a use for heating the food material but if you see that oven is to be used to heat the food material and that is that device is called as a micro oven okay. so that is just like in a house if you see that we have a oven and uh, that oven is to be used to heat the food there means heating a food okay like just like so that is about we can say it is to be used for the heating a food there but if you consider that along with that heating a food the same micro is to be used in industry for that is to be used as a micro is to be used as a drying machine in a textile or in a paper industry or in a food processing industry or rubber industries or a foundries or a painting and all okay so that is to be used a micro heating so that is about a, a machine okay that is called as a, a drying machine that is to be used in a textile or a paper industry so that is about the applications of a micro in a industry again if you see that nowadays we know that micro is to be a good reflector met a good metallic reflector now that reflecting reflecting property is to be used okay that reflecting property of that particular material is to be used to identify that whether that particular metal what will be the thickness of that particular metal or in a particular paper industry we need to find out that what is the moisture content in that paper or we can say that what will be the liquid present in a textile in that whatever the in a textile industry that is to be used for the how much will be the liquid present means okay means it is whether it is a dry or a wet okay so likewise we need to find out so that is to be used in a industrial application that is about a a micro next that a micro is to be used micro is in basic and applied research now what do you mean by that micro is in a basic and a applied research now if you consider that here that is generally we say that generally we transmitting the micro signal to the food food gate heater okay now the same principle generally basic property is nothing but what a component or a micro signal transmitted to the device or some particular object that heating takes place okay so now what is that particular object now that that is the principle or that is the basic principle is to be used here in a micros okay so generally that what is the micro is used in a basic or a applied research just like sm matter or some we can say that a molecular atom or we can say that uh, some uh, device okay some object so that is some device or we can say that a matter that is nothing but is to be used for the resonance okay means that whatever the matter we have that is to be used for the it has a, a resonance occur at a micro frequency or you can say that a matter has a, a resonance occur at that particular micro frequency and that is to be used for the research means different device 
or a whatever what will be that particular matter okay properties of a matter is to be basic properties of the matter has a resonance at a, a microwave frequency now that resonance occur at a microwave frequency so we can find out that microwave whether that microwave is interacting with the given particular matter or it is to be used for generating the power okay means we can say that interaction of that particular device that will be used to generate a microwave power okay or we can say that that resonant action is takes place at a microwave frequency or when that resonance or action takes place so there will be a absorption okay so so means we can say that whatever the molecules changes so due to that particular molecular resonance occur and at that particular microwave frequency so in that case that particular device is to be used for the microwave means at a resonance there will be a micro absorption created okay micro absorption occur and because of that micro absorption that will provide the information about that device or that particular matter and what about that information about the structure of that particular molecule okay or we can say that energy level of that particular molecule okay so that can be observed using the microwaves in a basic and a applied research so that if you see that a impact diode okay generally what happen here is resonant occur at a microwave in a crystal okay that is nothing but a device that is called as a impact a conjunction avalanche okay transit time diode okay that is about the impact imp and that is a device that device is to be used to generate the what you can say that a a microwave okay so that is about a transit time device that is the impact time and that particular device is to be used to design a high power linear accelerator and that is to be used in a nuclear reason so that is about a microwave in a basic and a applied research there then another example is about a, a biomedical application now a biomedical application means in a medical one okay directly we can say that a macro is to be used as a medicine okay or in a medical field so just like a whatever the microwaves are there that is to be radiating from the device and that is used for the heating the tissue okay so where that heating the tissue is to be used means generally what happen somewhere is supposed to be some tissues are there and that tissues are nothing but a, a cancerous tissue okay so that tissues are nothing but a cancerous tissue means we can remove that a cancerous tissue using the microwave signal means applying that microwave signal to that cancerous tissue and then means we need to focus that we can say that we need to focus that a microwave on this particular cancerous tissues so that that can be removed okay from the body of a patient so likewise we can say that it is to be used to remove the tissue or heating that my cancerous tissue there so means burn that particular cancerous tissue or generally nowadays if you see that if there is a pain in a body or some particular muscular pain or some tissue that what you can say some nerve or something else there is a pain in a body so in that case we can use a microwave heating to remove that pain from that muscular tissue okay muscle okay likewise so that is to be used here uh, that a microwave heating is to be used for the remove the cancerous tissue or that is to be used to remove the pain means 
a microwave heat in means on that particular muscles we apply the microwave signal means heating will be takes place so naturally that pain will be removed from that particular uh, okay body or a particular skin there okay so likewise nowadays if you see that a micro radiations are used for the a cancer therapy means we can say that that is just like we can find out that particular region in a complete body and then we apply that a micro signal there so that is about a micro heating so there are the lot of applications nowadays in a medical industry that microwaves are used nowadays you know that a laser treatment to remove the mold or to remove the unnecessarily object in that particular on a skin okay likewise so that is to be a microwaves or a laser techniques to be used there so that is about the applications of a microwave that is to in a heating or to remove that particular tissue there so nowadays there are increasing lot of applications there that is that are increased here in a medical industry then another example is about we can say that a potential application in the field of potential application in the field of energy transport now we can say that it is to be used for the energy transport so energy transfer means what means electrical energy nowadays we are taking getting the supply through the wire okay means is we in a maharashtra we have the msb board that is providing supply through the wire there means we are using a transmission line here so generally we can say that electrical energy transport through the transmission line or through the wire there but instead of that if we use that instead of that we can use that transfer of the electric energy to convert into the microwave power and radiating that microwave power through the narrow beam antenna so that is nothing but what we can say that a energy transfer potential applications of micro in a microwave means what energy transfer means electrical energy is converted into a microwave and then that micro is micro energy micro signals are transmitted through the narrow beam antenna narrow beam means what high gain or a focus one at a given particular place there and that is to be used for transmit okay that is to be used for the transfer narrow beam antenna is used for the transmitting so that another end we can detect miss receiving station what will happen at receiving station it will convert that whatever the micro signal to the electrical energy so miss conversion takes place just like if you see that nowadays a satellite communication there and we say that satellite is used but at the time of a eclipse solar power or a solar generation will not be takes place in a satellite so in that case you can transmit the electrical energy to the satellite from the ground station to the satellite okay so that is about the applications of a micro in a field of a energy transport or if you say that uh, some hill hill stations are there or somewhere that wires could not reach in the given region okay in a mountain or hill area so in that case this technique is used to transfer the energy so there are the lot of applications there that is to be used uh, for in a energy transport there so these are about the all the applications of a microwave and we say that a microwave frequency signal is ranging from the point 3 to 300 gigahertz here. and these are the all the applications so okay so now we come to the another topic that we need to talk about that what is exactly the frequency range of a microwave frequency micro signal that is to be used for the various applications 
and uh, we need to talk about that what is the band of a radio spectrum and from that radio spectrum band what will be the exactly microwave frequency signal there that is to be used so that is about the applications there of a microwave now we'll talk about that next topic is about what will be the use of this particular crystal there okay so like it so earlier we are we had a discussion regarding that a micro frequency band and uh, we say that that is about a range of the micro signal frequencies that we have seen earlier okay now we talk about that a radio spectrum so now in this case of radio spectrum we say that the frequency range is about it's 0 to 30 kilohertz and this 0 to 30 kilohertz frequency is nothing but what very long waves or this build this band is belongs to what a very low frequency band and this particular band is to be used for the radio navigation or we can say that underwater application okay so that is about a 0 to 30 now next band is about a 30 to 300 kilo and this belongs to what we can say that a low frequency or a long wave okay low frequency or a long wave and again both the bands are used for the radio navigation or a underwater applications there next a 300 to 3000 kilos means the 3 megahertz and that is about a medium frequency that is used for the amplitude modulation am radio broadcasting okay so you can say that that is to be used for the am there then a 3 to 30 megahertz 3 to 30 megahertz and that is useful for the a short wave broadcasting short wave broadcasting okay this is nothing but a, a short wave broadcasting then we say that a 30 to 300 megahertz that is about the band of a frequency that is a 30 to this is about a 3 to 30 megahertz that is about a high frequency then you can say that a 32 300 megahertz that is about a very high frequency okay so this is about a, a medium frequency okay so likewise you can say that this one is about a very high frequency that is about a vhf so that is to be used for the tv and a afm broadcast so this frequency range next is a, a micro frequency range. that we can say that a point through 3 gigahertz this one is used for the mobile communication okay so that is to be used for the mobile communication then a 3 to 30 gigahertz so this one is about to be used for the satellite communication or a radar then a 32 300 gigahertz now that is to be used for for the your all other applications you can say that a military okay so we have we early, uh, uh, earlier we have said that a remote sensing applications or you can say that radio astronomy 
Okay, so that is about a, this one is nothing but a millimeter one. Okay, this is nothing but a millimeter, and that is to be used for the millimeter wave communication, or we can say that radio astronomy. or we can say that a remote common remote sensing okay or a remote probes okay so likewise so that is to be used now we say here it is are the band of a frequency and our aim is about to see that this is about 0.3 to 330 gigahertz that is nothing but what you can say that a uhf okay so this is about a a UHF. So this one is about what we can say that ASHF as we have seen earlier. And this 30 to 300 gigahertz that we can say that a EHF. Okay, means we say here a UHF, SHF, and a EHF. Means ultra high frequency. Okay, so ultra high frequency means what? A ultra short wave then super high frequency means we can say that a super short wave extremely high frequency we can say that extremely short wave so that is about the micro frequency range that is to be used in the application so that is that is important okay other than that we say early right now so these are about the micro applications even if we can say that there is point three to three 30 gigahertz we say it is about the mobile commission okay it yes it can be used again it can be useful for the radar navigation okay so you can say that there are the various applications there in this particular band of frequency okay just like we are we are just saying which one is a maximum utilization okay nowadays it is to be used various bands to be used for the various applications so if you say that 0.3 to 3 gigahertz, I'm saying about a mobile communication there, but it can be useful for the satellite also because the L band of a frequency, 1 to 2 gigahertz, that is about the L band belongs to this frequency band. So that is why you can say that a satellite communication we can use. Even now we can say that it is to be useful for the surveillance radar or navigational aids there or a food industry. Okay, or you can say that a television. So likewise, that is to be used there. Now, if you consider that a 3 to 30 gigahertz, that is about a super high frequency. So it can be useful for the radar again. That means we can say that that radar can be used in a air or a marine, or you can say that it is on a ship there. So that is about the applications there. That is about you can say it's about a radar there. So simply here we can say that 30 to 300 gigahertz that is about a radio astronomy and all. So just like we need to find out that what is the object and all. Or we can say that find the uh, that is to be used in a, a space research. There. Okay, so that is about the applications of a micro. So this is about the micro frequency range 0.3 to 300 gigahertz from the entire radio spectrum if you consider that there are the lot of app there are a lot of applications of a microwaves there from the entire spectrum there so that's why we have seen earlier what are the various characteristics and a disadvantages and advantages of a, a micro there that we have seen then what what will be the typical micro system okay so typical micro system belongs to so we can we'll see here what are the various components of a micro system there so that's why we'll start here to learn that a typical micro system okay typical micro system what are the various components of this a typical micro system okay that's it now consider that basically for the micro system we require a source there okay so that's why what are the basic building blocks of this typical micro system so we need to know about what will be the micro source first so we can say that 
we require a micro source there so basic we can say that okay so that is about your micro source and for this micro source we require a, a power supply okay that is about for this particular micro source there so we require a power supply so that source can be what it can be a, a device we can say that a klystron or it can be we can say that it's about a gun diode so that is nothing but a micro source we can say and after that after whatever a micro source is there so generally we need to be used a isolator so that is about a micro system component and after that after the isolator we generally say that we need to be use a a meter wave guide okay so we can say that a wave guide meter or a wave meter okay so that is about a wave meter we are using and then the alternator your signal gate alternator that's why we can say that is about a alternator we are using and then after that we say that we consider that there will be an antenna so that antenna is nothing but mostly we say that the antenna is a on antenna is to be used this is about the antenna then at the another end there is a receiver so we can consider that at this particular end so there will be a receiver now this receiver is nothing but again connected to the detector means it is nothing but a, a power meter or a wave guide detector so that is to be used okay so power detector or we can say that a power meter that is to be used so generally what we can say that a source it can be of a a klystron source can be of what we can say a gun diode that is nothing but a source means we can say that a micro generation takes place a here itself if we are using that a gun diode then we need to be consider that if you modulate along with that so modulated signals will be transmitted so we can say that your modulated signal will be transmitted through this so these are the all are are all are belongs to this wave guide component okay so we say that we have the signal to be transmitted here through this device so means it is about the given direction so source can be what we can say it can be a klystron or we can say that is about a gun that is about a modulated component so modulated signal will be transmitted and here is the isolator that will avoid the signal come back to the generator or to the source if the signal reaches to the source source got damaged so that's why that isolator is to be used so it will forward the signal in only in one direction then a wave meter so what will be the micro frequency thing? what will be the micro frequency frequency there that is to be propagating through this device so that's why we can say that in wave guide meter or a wave meter just like a frequency meter we say but here we are saying a wave meter because it is to be used to finding the micro frequency okay so frequency meter just like wave meter the principle of a wave is used here so we'll see that is how wave meter is used then next about a alternator so how much is the limitations of a power required for the transmission so that's why the alternator is used and then that power is to be transmitted so this belongs to what we can say that a power antenna so this one is a transmitting 
then we have a receiver that is about a receiving horn antenna and then here we have the power meter or a detector so directly we can say that how much is the power transmitted from this device that is to be measured so this one is about a typical microwave system and this typical microwave system it has the various components and that this various components we will see one by one what will be the generator and how these are the various components waveguide components are used in a microwave system and then we will see that what are the function of this horn and what will be the radiation pattern of this horn antenna that we will see okay so we consider the typical micro system with uh, different blocks and all and we'll see one by one each and every block there okay so that's all about your micro system component your signal will be transmitted and then it will be detected here at this end and then we will measure that what will be the power transmitted by this micro system that's all about your typical micro system if you have any questions please ask me thank you all of you